moss blanket, ripe with vegetation and floral lands. This island is home to the hunter and honey slimes. This flourishing landscape wasn't always green. At one point, it was a barren desert, just like the glass desert. What was the sudden shift of climate that turned this barren island into a thriving environment? Will this sudden shift also affect other areas of the world? Also, what other things lay hidden in the mossy land of trees and flowers? In part 5, I'm going to explore and uncover the hidden secrets of the moss blanket. Let's get ratching. This area of the far far range is located northwest. The moss blanket seems like a paradise full of rich vegetation and wilderness. Believe it or not, the place wasn't always so green. In one of Opsin's messages, he states that the moss blanket was a wasteland when he first discovered it. Gradually, over time, the land changed dramatically during Opsin's time exploring the far far range. Reading through Opsin messages, it doesn't seem like he tampered with the area that would have impacted the climate. The only signs of tampering he did was building wooden platforms. It could have been a natural progression from the planet similar to our own with climate change. Look at the dry reef for example. At one point, it used to be an underwater coral reef. I will not be surprised if the planet is going through a sudden change in climate. Jungles take decades if not centuries to form a natural biome. And now, it is unknown how long Opsin settled on the planet to know the exact time the area was beginning to grow. Going by his statement, more than likely a short period of time, to the point that it may overwhelm the entire planet. While exploring the moss blanket, there didn't seem much secrets to uncover. It is not like the ancient ruins, where the place is filled with, well, ruins. It is not the glass desert, where strange phenomena happen out of nowhere. The moss blanket is seemingly just a normal jungle biome, filled with the most diverse and awe-inspiring scenery. As I dig deeper into the area, I realized that the creatures that inhabit this area may hold the hidden secrets that I'm looking for. The honey slimes and the fallible resources within this area may be the cause of the climate shift. Bees are crucial to the environment. They help pollinate and grow food. If you look at the abrary that mines the moss blanket, the resources obtained are buswax, hexacomb, royal jelly, and wild honey. All of them are bee-related. It might be possible that the honey slime either migrated or turned into honey in order to obtain the sweet nectar from the bees. From this exchange, it caused the surrounding areas to form gradually. Another culprit could be the hunter slimes who also plays an important role. Interesting enough, Hunters can also be found in the glass desert. I believe that the hunter slimes originated from the glass desert but migrated to the moss blanket for an easier food source. Because of this migration, it caused the pollen from the tangle slimes to be spread easier to other areas, resulting a transformation to the moss blanket that we all know and love. So the shift of environment may be due to outside interference, like the honey and hunter immigrating. In a way, the hunter and honey slimes, even though one is more passive than the other, both are crucial in the development of the moss blanket. However, these changes may leave huge consequences to consider. In my previous breakdown of the ancient ruins, I mentioned about the possibility of the ancient ruins facing a collapse from decay. Is the shift of environment causing the ancient ruins to corrode? Will the rest of the far far range be impacted by the rapid shift of climate that the moss blanket is producing? Only time will tell.
Well, you guys, that's it for slimy secrets. If you guys want to share your own secrets of the moss blanket, share it down below. Better yet, join my Discord. I'm always happy to hear what you guys have to say. Like always, stay wiggly. <laughs>